There you go. Here is, uh, and of course, uh, you know, week from Sunday, as the uh, the full uh, assort, you know uh, uh, assortment of games will be played, other than the opener on Thursday and the Monday night game. Uh, it'll be very interesting. I don't know if the NFL has announced what they're doing yet for 9-11. I know every team is just certainly going to have your moment of oh, silence, I imagine. Yep. And I'm at, you know, do all that stuff. And then, you know, the Mets announced what they're doing, just to give them a we'll nod quickly. Uh, they're having Sean Franco throw out the first pitch to Mike Piazza. Uh, so they're bringing those guys in. I think Todd Deal will be back as well, right? Yeah, I think Deal, I saw the paper, is going to be back. And, of course, they're also Bobby Valentine, I think, is going to be there. And all those guys are talking about, of course, that great moment against Atlanta. Robin Ventura will be there. Yeah, when so. Piazza hit the home run. Yeah. So everyone's just listening. So say what you want, I don't care who you root for, every franchise in town gets it and has always done the right thing. I have. Right? Yeah, and then you and I, well, our show. Let me just say one sec. Yeah. The Met game, this I don't care for, they moved it, it was originally a day game, and they moved it to night on the 11th. doesn't make any sense because you have the Jets going against the Cowboys. That's exactly right. And you know, the I'll be in there. It's the interesting thing. I'll, I'll do that game as opposed to the, one of the Monday night games for Westwood 1 because right. I'm going to do the Jet 9-11 game. Westwood 1 was very kind to allow me to do that game because of the poignancy and because it's here sure. in New York and it's the Cowboys and the Jets 9-11. And then the, the next day on the 12th, you and I and uh, our entire crew, mm -hmm. including MSG, will be over at uh, BGC Charity Day, which is uh, you know something that uh, Howard Ludnick and BGC, which has been a spinoff of Cannon Fitzgerald, has been doing uh, since 9-11, uh, and they have raised over $200 million in the, in, for charities all across the globe. Were you doing that? Was that Wall Street this year? Yes, uh, I, JC. Who will be, what do you mean? Well, I said BGC. BGC. It's, 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 it's done by Wall Street, right? Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, it's a wonderful event, and it's always good to be a part of it, and we'll do that. Now, of course, we, it'll be a, most, a lot of football, of course. We'll be talking about the Jet game, the Giant game, but also we'll uh, take uh, time throughout the show to acknowledge what the day before was, so we'll cover that for you. Well, here is uh, Maddie Long Island on the stand. Maddie, good morning. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing, Good morning. Maddie, what's happening, brother? This is the giant tight end situation. I mean, uh, first of all, who are the giant tight ends? You lose both, and then you have these no names out there, and they look identically the same, and they don't know what they're doing out there. And Carlson, Carlson believes in both of them, and that that's just a lost land. Well, yeah, to be fair, no listen, you know, you didn't upgrade tight end, but you've seen these guys play all how many snaps together since last far? Forty-five. Right. So I, I, I know it's disagreeing that you have a major question mark at tight end, because you do. Well, they've played 45 plays together. Take out half of those plays for running plays, and now what are you looking at? You know, those plays are affected by Hurricane Irene, because they probably would have played more. Right. But I, it's hard to get Irene thing. You know, but I will say this, you know, you've taken two of Eli Manning's favorite teammates off the field, Steve Smith, and, uh, and uh, Kevin Boss. Well, Smith wasn't here last year, really. So. Yeah, but, but again, you know, he did have a 100-catch season, didn't he, two years ago? Well, no, uh, two years ago, he had a 100-catch right. season. So, I mean, so he was a big-time player for Eli Manning. For sure. And, you know, I think Eli Manning suffered without Steve Smith last year. So that's part of, that was part of the problem. Now there's no Kevin Boss. Right. And there's no Steve Smith. Now, I, I like to keep next. I've been saying that since the day that they drafted him. Mario Manning is going to have an opportunity of a lifetime now to go out there and show people that he belongs and he can do what Steve Smith did. Right. But, you know, then what? Well, then uh, obviously you have a big question mark. I mean, that's the issue here. Which is, But the, the thing about Irene is a joke. I mean, Hurricane Irene pushed the game back to Monday. We get that, right? So now the issue with the Jets, the Giants, is that you know, they have to say they're going to have the weekend off, after tonight's game, or a couple days off, right? They're coming tomorrow. Right. You know, the weekend off. Monday they'll put in the game plan for Washington. Tuesday they'll be off. Right. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, how much of that time they will practice in pads, who the hell knows, but they're in the same boat as everybody else. Know, but here's the question. One day they lose reality. But Craig, but Craig, but Craig well, listen to me. Here's the question posed to Tom Coffin. How does Hurricane I uh, Irene affect your preparation for the upcoming season? And like I told you yesterday, yes. I'll say it again today, and I will tell you again the same story tomorrow. All right. That every coach, you know, is paranoid about their lack of preparation this year because everything is so condensed. There have been no two days. Remember that? I got legislated out right. of the uh, collective bargaining agreement. So any young player, any second-year player that's really could have used an off-season of OTAs and two-day practices, 
all of a sudden doesn't have those, old school coaches like Tom Coughlin are going to be frustrated by that. So when they are asked a question, right, and they give you an answer, it's not like he's making an excuse. He's just answering a question honestly. Yeah, but the, the, the excuse is now built in. We lost the practice because of Irene. We may not be ready 12 days from now. Sorry, you're professional. I think, I think. Get Rick, your asses ready. The Redskins what? are going to be ready. And guess what? The Redskins and everybody else, maybe, uh, maybe the teams on the East Coast will be adversely affected by the lack of practice, uh, extra couple practices in here. And maybe it will not be pretty football the first week. Coming up, what made Bill Belichick cry? On camera! Oh boy! Next on the fan! Oh yeah! No, he doesn't. If you need a new mattress, why go to a furniture store? Trust Sleepy's, the mattress professionals for the largest selection of name brands anywhere. Sleepy's, the most trusted name in mattresses. Sleepy's, the mattress professionals. For sale, motorcycle, a beauty. You see it, you'll want it. It's for sale because of what I didn't see. The cops. So I got busted for riding drunk. Now I've got some heavy fines and legal bills to pay. So call me. You'll get a great deal. Because clearly, I'm an idiot. Cops are cracking down on drinking and riding all across the country. And they'll see you before you see them. Ride sober or get pulled over. The National Safety Council attributes an estimated 100,000 crashes each year to texting and driving. That's why BMW would like to remind you that when the engine starts, the texting stops. Don't text and drive. Welcome to Electronic Bob's Blowout Warehouse, where we're moving merchandise so fast, we're blowing them out the door. I have a question about this camcorder. Sorry, no time for questions. That's right, folks. Just pick up your box, take it to the cashier, and we'll blow you out of here. But I want to know if, look, buddy, I'm moving the merch here. Know what I I mean, take a number. That's right, we talk fast, we sell fast. At b &H, we know you don't want pressure. You want answers, advice, a helping hand. And that's why every B&H sales expert is...